got my pants on. Alrighty. Sup, Buttercups? Welcome back to another vlog, another weekend, another whole adventure on the internet. This vlog is going to be a little bit different than my other one. It's going to be my first kind of challenge video that I've done. It is going to be drinking a gallon of water for a week. And we're gonna see how this goes. That's, I mean, that's basically it. What else can we talk about besides that? Let's just go ahead and get the disclaimer out of the way right now, okay? Is this necessarily healthy long term? No, there is such thing as too much water. Look, if there is any weight loss, will it all be gained back when you stop this? Yes, probably. I'm gonna record this for a week and then wait a couple weeks at least, kind of see what happens in the aftermath before you know I make my final verdict about it. Let's just get that out there now. This is not a sustainable long-term situation. That's not what we're trying to do here. This is just a fun challenge. We're gonna see how it goes. Please don't take this as like <laughs> life advice, okay? All right, glad we got that out of the way. Today is a Sunday, so we're gonna do the full seven days. So we went online, we got it shipped. We have the water bottle. Are you people ready? Let's check it out. so much smaller on the internet when you went to click buy <laughs> like on the picture but now like holding it up you know next to you it's I was like okay and this is a half gallon so we actually have to do two of these suckers a day whoa so it's got a total of the 64 ounces we're gonna do two of these a day and I'm a little nervous. I feel like I have to pee right now. I haven't even started drinking. I will say I wasn't that intimidated by this challenge before I saw the size of this bottle because I drink a ton of water a day. I think it's much more than like the average person. But a whole gallon, I don't think I've been doing that at all. But let's go back to the disclaimer here. You're supposed to drink half your body weight in ounces a day of water. That's the recommended thing. There's definitely gonna be more, but if you would like a more sustainable hydration approach, my unprofessional opinion is to drink half your body weight in ounces. I think we need to fill this puppy up for the first time today and get this started. I took up a Brita filter and a half to fill this puppy up. Look, let's just talk about this real quick. If you've seen some of my other videos, you know I've recently been switched to night shift at my job. So I'm not really sure how I'm going to measure the days, if that makes sense. I guess midnight to midnight is the only thing that makes sense for daily measurement. This is gonna be a lot. I'm worried when I'm at home I'm gonna have to pee all the time because like I'll just be sitting or doing something around the apartment. And I'm worried at work, it's very busy, they're 12 hour shifts, and you just don't always have time to pee that much. I'm wondering how that's gonna work with all of this fluid intake. We'll keep a count of how many times I pee my pants this week. That'll be a fun count to do at the end. Here's to a water week. I don't think I'm quite prepared for what's to come, but we're into it now. We'll check in with you later. All right, folks, we're back. I'm still on the first one of these. Which is making me a little bit nervous. It's past six o'clock now. I peed. Three, I, we're just going to talk about urinating a lot in this vlog. Let's just go ahead and put that out there. I think that's going to be the most obvious side effect. I'm not enjoying this. I feel like I'm like floating. I might float away any minute. On the one hand, I'm so over this. And on the other hand, I feel very accomplished. up gal pals finish the second one as an update oh my gosh i'm so tired catch y'all tomorrow i'm back i didn't go to bed i forgot i'm working tomorrow i've stayed up it's now six o'clock in the morning so this is where it's gonna get tricky i guess if we're doing midnight to midnight i'm about to sleep some during the day because i'm going into work tonight just an update i filled this puppy up again it's technically my third one but it's past midnight so this is counting for monday because it's now Monday, <laughs> because I'm gonna sleep a little bit during the day. I'm not gonna get up until the afternoon, evening. So I only have a few hours from when I wake up until midnight when I'll be, you know, at work to do the second half. 
So that's the update, and then at work I'll refill it up after midnight and stuff and be starting on Tuesdays. This is where it's getting complicated with the work schedule, staying up, whatever. But this is why I was like, I think we're gonna have to do a midnight to midnight to measure these days or else it gets dicey. I'm less hungry because my belly's full of water. I feel like I wanna vomit water and I pee all the time. Good night. <laughs> All right, so it is still Monday. This is gonna be the longest day. It's like six, it's 6.09, I really need to leave. So quick update. I finished the jug, you know, last night um, before I went to bed at the wee hours of the morning. I felt good waking up and stuff and hydrated. You're, you know, you sleep for a long time and you're not drinking anything, but it had so much before. I woke up feeling hydrated, but also, you know, ready to drink more water. Whereas when I went to bed, I was like, I don't want any more water. I think the sleeping helped reset it. I feel confident I'm gonna be able to finish this jug before midnight at work because I'm already a little bit into it. There's your update, it's Monday. We're gonna make this a good work day. We're gonna do it and we're gonna do it hydrated. <laughs> Cheers. Sup, sup, sup. It is still Tuesday. It is a long week so far, man. Finished Mondays at work before midnight. Like I said, didn't have that much more to go. After midnight, work was very busy. And so it got filled up and it's got a little smidge left in there, if you can see that. Let do it. <laughs> All gone. This is so much better cold. We are officially into bottle number two with, what, three hours to go? What's, oh God, I'm dropping stuff. What's up, it's Wednesday. No, yes, yes it is. Just got in from a run. I haven't run in a really long time, that was rough. <clears throat> anyway, I got this much left on my First jug of the day, I'm a little behind. I'm really bad at timing this. I feel like if I space this out better throughout the day, it wouldn't be as difficult as I'm making it. But I have it and I don't, so here we are. I'm gonna chug this puppy and get started on bottle number two so that I don't pee all night tonight when I go to bed. There's your hump day update. <laughs> That was unpleasant. <laughs> and we're halfway through the week, right? Right? Wait. Yes. Only three more days. Oh, thank goodness, cause woo. We're gonna go get bottle number two. Cheers. We made it through Wednesday, hump day, day four. I'll see y'all on Thursday. Welcome to Thursday. <laughs> This is the first jug of the day. This is like 32 ounces. I'm afraid to chug it all right now. This thing is bigger than my head. <laughs> I feel like clearer, more awake, more with it, kind of. Very hydrated. Definitely not thirsty. Tuning back in to let you know I'm almost finished with the second one. I like really ending these little last minute chugs with you all. <laughs> Let's talk about the cons. These things are a pain to sit and fill up. They are heavy, but I do like this little handle. I do like how all my water's like in one place so I can just drink from this when I go at meals and stuff. I'm wasting less dishes, but it is heavy to look around. And I don't wanna put ice in it. It's not like um, insulated, like the water's not gonna stay ice cold. But I don't wanna put ice in it cause that's gonna melt and that is gonna be even more water I have to drink. And we're not doing more than a gallon. That's, I didn't promise that, that's not what we're doing. Tonight, tonight I'm staying up for a little bit. I'm gonna fill it back up to go ahead and start on Fridays because it will be past midnight and not too much longer. While I stay up for a little bit, I'll go to bed, get up for work, and finish um, a second jug before midnight. Woo, we've officially finished Thursday though, which means we just have Friday and Saturday left and I am so glad for that. It's a hassle and it's getting really annoying. I'll check in with y'all when we are into Friday. Yo, what up, hello. Okay, so I just got home from work and this is now my first jug for Saturday. Started after midnight and we have not made a lot of progress. I'm gonna chug a lot before I go to bed and hope I'm so tired that I don't wake up to pee and then we'll fill it up. I'll be going back into work and I ain't gotta worry about it after that. That will complete our seven days. We are on the last day. Bless up. So we have successfully made it to day seven, which is very exciting.
What's up? Back with another update. Who's tired of getting these updates? I know, me too. However, this one's the final update, the challenge. I finished it a couple weeks ago now. Honestly, I shared my thoughts with you throughout the whole process when I was giving updates. Felt full of water all the time, but my skin did feel clear. I felt very hydrated, I didn't get headaches. I had energy. I still use my bottle. That's how I felt and all that jazz and the fact that I had to pee all the time. <laughs> I did lose some weight and I fully thought I would gain it all back when I stopped drinking so much water a day. It was just flushing me out. But I really haven't, it's been a few weeks now. I gained some back like the very next week, I think just when I went from all that water and then stopped like a couple pounds. That was a few weeks ago though and I'm still down probably three-ish pounds from the original weight before we did this. So lost five, gained a couple back. But again, disclaimer, as I put in the beginning of the video, this was not medical advice. This was not a weight loss thing. This is just a fun challenge. But I enjoyed it. It was fun. It was a lot. It was definitely a challenge. <laughs> Especially going to work and stuff and getting everything in. And just having a plan on when you were going to drink water based on when you had to be in the car that day. Not an access to the, a bathroom and all the things. But it was a fun video to do. It was a fun idea. And I enjoyed it. So I hope you all enjoyed it as well. Let me know if you've ever done this challenge or you have thoughts. I did really like the challenge video so I'd like to do more of them. Hit me up with other ideas you'd like to see. And subscribe so you can see if I post those. Thanks for watching. Thanks for staying through all the updates and hearing me talk about how much I have to pee all the time. <laughs> Tune in next weekend for a brand new video. Stay safe out there. Stay healthy. Stay hydrated. <laughs> Take care of yourselves and I'll see y'all next week. Peace, love, and blessings. Mwah. Bye!